Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial with me, James, from MathsR Software. And today we're looking at some more automation and we have a very simple automation script here. But the end goal is actually um, using Windows to simply set up a task uh, scheduler that runs this automation script at a time that we specify. Now that's if you're running things locally, there could be issues there, you know, if you're, if you're not on your system or if it's down, you may want to use this in some cloud server like Azure um, virtual machines or on Amazon. There, there are different routes, but this is a good um, introduction into how we can run scripts if we've got a Windows machine. So here we're essentially just pulling in a planner CSV that we maybe specified the day before. Um, and we want to get the local date time, so you can feel free to copy the script from the machine. And then basically we just output it to a CSV, as you can see here, very simple. Um, and part of that script also just appended the local date time um, to our file name in the CSV. Now that's handy because if we're running this every day, there may be a period where we want to go back and look at our planner on a certain day. So it's nice and easy to find when you sort of um, overwrite those files daily. So now we're going to actually look how we can do this on a Windows machine and actually set up that automation. So it's really simple in Windows because you don't actually have to install anything. You can just go to your, your standard start bar um, and search for task scheduler. You can see it there, it's in my recents, but you can just search this if you like. Um, very easy to find. So there's there's absolutely no issues there. Um, and just double click and that will take you into the, the guided user interface. So you can see here immediately um, within this view, this just gives you an insight into the processes that are running. These aren't mine. Um, these are just sort of built into, into my personal laptop. Now, we need to create a task. So that's on the right hand side in the actions and we can just give it a name. So just arbitrary for now, I will just call it sort of daily AM planner. The idea being that when I log on to work or when I've been, when I know that I'll be working, um, I get this output. You can also set these up on log on and things, and we'll look at that later. Details are the description again. Um, it's arbitrary for this demonstration, but we'll just uh, be as explicit as possible, just in case we ever, you know, package this up and someone else wants to use it or so on. Um, so I just specified that run when the user's logged on. As you can see, you don't need to click OK. You can just move on to the next page. That clicking OK is sort of finalizing the whole process. So lots of options. You can do it at log on, at idle, but for us, it makes much more sense to run this on a schedule. So we're just gonna allow this to recur every one day. And we would start it from today, potentially, um, from 8 a.m. If it's past that time, it will just run in the next day. And as you can see, there's options to repeat this task. If it was something more prominent, you could repeat it every hour. Um, but for us, that, that really is out with what we're doing. So we've set that up. Now we're just going to our actions. And here is where you may need a bit of guidance. The only option is to start a program, so that's fine. But there's three things that you need to specify. The first um, thing we need to do is actually specify where our Python path is for the installation. Very easy to do. You can type again in that start bar CMD or command prompt and just type in where Python, press enter, and that will give you a path that you can copy and paste into this first box. So that's very helpful. And um, we can just paste that in, perfect. Now in the arguments here, we just need to, in the first box, specify the file name. Um, and then the, the start in the optional is just specifying the file path. So again, we can we can go back and have a look. This was called daily planner script.py, py obviously being the Python file extension. So I'll type that in. Obviously, you could just paste it if you like. Um, and there we go. And the last thing is we need to specify where the script is. Now, the e there's an easy way to do that. I'll just paste it in. But if you go into your file explorer, explorer find the file, you know, within potentially downloads or desktop or wherever, you can then just hit shift and right click it instead of a standard right click and it'll give you the option to copy as path. And from there, you can just go ahead and actually um, input it. And that is all of the setup that we actually require. We can look through conditions and things, but there's nothing extra that we need to do here. And we can just click OK and this will be scheduled to run. As you can see, um, there will be a sort of a, a status. It'll tell you the next runtime. The last runtime is default 1999, so we haven't done anything yet, but it's very simple and powerful. And from here, you could look at cloud automation. 
Like, comment, subscribe and share.